Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mabinogi. And this time, uh, we're actually running SSC, Shadowcast City, or SCC, Shadowcast City. Um, I'm on the tube! Yes, you are. <laughs> that you are, indeed. So this is what the Shadow Realm normally looks like. Um, like I said, it's all like reddish, orangish. Um, during the night time, it's more like orangish. Uh, this is currently the daytime, which is funny. Um, during the day in um, Aaron, it's night in the Shadow Realm. During the night, it is the day in the Shadow Realm. So. Um, but yeah, this is what the Shadow Realm normally actually looks like. It's all dark and dreary and red and creepy. And it has evil dudes, skeletal dudes and shadow dudes and stuff like that. It's not, uh, it's not a pleasant place. Um, Teltian is probably the, the darker of the places. Um, it looks, it, to me, Teltian looks creeper, creepier. Creeper, creepier during the the night time than Terra does. So that said, uh, Shadowcast City is very interesting because you fight along here, fighting a whole bunch of enemies, and at the end of the uh, the thing, you fight a boss, which is unique to this particular. Um, uh, I want to say instance sh shadow mission. Um, the, the boss of this is unique to the shadow mission. Get out of here, archers. Boom. Hey, does that actually count as my kill? So I was able to pick up the leather. Cool. Um, I'll show you guys when we get there, obviously, but I don't want to spoil it immediately offhand. So... And we're, I'm probably not going to be running very many shadow missions with this character. If I do, it will probably be off camera. Unless, like, it's a shadow mission we haven't done. If they want to run other alchemists, again, I won't record it kind of thing. So if you see a sudden jump in my level, chances are I may have run a shadow mission or two with the guild. Um, off camera with this character just to help with getting some levels and things like that um, If you notice a sudden decrease in level that probably means I rebirthed <laughs> And then probably ran a shadow mission unless I'm still level one um, So Or very very close to level one because I might have done like production experience or something Because when you do handicraft or some kind of production ability, you do get production experience. And that actually gives you like legitimate experience, so. Oh crap. I need to be using my shield. I keep forgetting to actually put up my shield. Um, speaking of shields, um, well, I mean, that was sword mastery, but. Um, even if I don't use the actual shield, like ability, the defense, um, It'll still level my shield anyway, just because I have it equipped. Ah, here we go. Here's the boss. So who's the boss this time? Is it going to be... Um, me? Nope, it's the sun. There he is. So this is the thing about the boss. It's a, it's a doppelganger. And so it picks... I think the party leader is who it is that it picks. Um... I think it picks the party leader. And the party leader is who you fight, basically. Um, they generally don't have the same skills, but they have a lot of, they look like the party leader and stuff like that. Hey, I can actually get the chest because I didn't use my key in the treasure room this time. Not that it matters, it's just earthquakes. <laughs> I love any chance to kill Asan. Hey, Art Crystal. 
I'll pick that up. Um, eventually. Unless one of them needs it. So this is the Shadow Realm. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys last time. Was what the Shadow Realm actually looks like. Compared to what it looks like in that uh, one uh, tutorial mission. That said, well, this is the Shadow Realm. There's actually a lot of Shadow missions that you can go on that don't send you to the Shadow Realm. <coughs> They're just Shadow missions. So it'll look like this even though you're in a Shadow mission, you know? So. Um, let's find out what's... Are we running another Shadow mission of some kind? Please be something different. I think we're, uh, I think we're deciding. <laughs> yeah. Still recording? Yeah. These are, uh, these are 20 plus minute episodes. Has been like five. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, let's find out what they want to run this time. Um, not really. Don't have editing stuff. Um, I'm hoping they don't, I'm hoping he doesn't pick, uh, Shadow Cassidy again. Um, what SM we gonna run now? I want to do more than just... SCC for the recording. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, uh, he's looking for one at the moment, it looks like. Provocation! I want to do provocation right now. Let's go do provocation. Let me see if I can convince them to do provocation. I can do intermediate. If that's the best. Now how recording. Um Nah, they wanna do his head doing Shadow Cast City again. <laughs> Boo. I wanted to do something else. Didn't want to do the same SM multiple times in an episode. Oof. Oof. Is it really too low? Let me look at the board. <laughs> um, so this is the Shadow Mission Bulletin Board. Um, Oh, it's naive at best. Okay. Oh. Naive, not amateur. Oops. Provocation? And I can hop on my main after. That one's in Taeltian. I have to go to Taeltian. Let's see if I can convince them to do provocation. Provocation is a fun one. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to Taeltian. You're too far away. I love the pathfinding in this game. So this is a four person mount. One more person could sit back here. So you, it can hold up to four people. It can technically hold five if you're like teleporting um, because you can have four people on it and then the person that's actually like owns the mount off so they can teleport. Um, but if you're going somewhere, it's only a four person, so.
I like provocation though. Provocation is provocation is a good one. It's it, it's a little difficult. Uh, first time I did it, it was on Elite, and I died. <laughs> um, but provocation is a good one. It's another one of those ones that's like it is three people. Um, where are you going, Asan? We're at the moon gate. We just go to the stone hedge. You went to the wrong moon gate. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see if anybody's on. Nobody's on VC. Okay. Let's do provocation. So I have to be, um, whoops, naive first. Um, yeah, I was thinking it was novice, not naive. Naive is like three more ranks above. It's like it's amateur, then it's green, and then I think it's naive, so. I was thinking novice. Oh well. Here we go, provocation. So this one's fun, um, because provocation is... Um, uh, it's a, it has to be done with three people. Like, it can't be done with any less than three people. Um, and you'll see why as we progress. My only issue with the provocation is that these are enemies. <gasps> wow, excuse me. Um, the, uh, the border here is considered an enemy. So you can actually attack it. And so uh, if I hit control here, um, like if there's an enemy right up next to the wall, it'll get stuck targeting the wall instead of the enemy. There I did on purpose by pointing at an enemy that was up against the wall. Um, are you all right, dude? Oh, that was a wall. Are we sure that's the wall? Yeah, okay. Maybe it was like a finish thing and I just hadn't finished him or maybe it was somebody else had to finish him but again it was up against the wall so it was like no you can't even hit the enemy the worst thing is when they're up against the wall so um I'm thinking that it's going to be Asan, Leah and then me I think that's the order that it's going to uh, do the thing on. So. That sucked. Yeah, see there I got caught on the wall. Boom. This, uh, this SM should take at least 10 minutes. If it's not a full 20 minute episode, that'll be fine. Just because it is two, uh, it is two SMs, so I feel like that's pretty decent content either way. Um, two really, two of the really good SMs, but I have two. Um, I like Shadowcast City. Um, it's, uh, unlike most of the, whoa, do you think? Um, unlike most of the Terra SMs, Shadowcast City is actually pretty straightforward, which is why I like it. Um, provocation is uh, uh, completely straightforward. I mean, it's completely linear. There's no way to get lost, <laughs> like I regularly do in Telltian Shadow missions. So, and I think next should be the Sulfur Spiders. Yay, novice knight. Whoops. Which means I got some AP. Oh crap. Yep, it's the silver spiders. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> because I don't have anything in range. And I don't have a lot of HP. Boom! That hurts. I think I have some hip HP potions. Uh yeah, I have some here. Let me just use all these up. <laughs> um, that's all the I, the potions I got though, except for the uh, the special beginner potions, which I won't get any more of. 
because I have a character over level 1000. So I'm probably going to need to make some HP 100 potions on my main and send them over here. Die! Die! And next should be the giant silver spider. I don't think anybody has heals in this group. Nope, Shadow Alchemist. I keep wanting to buff. <laughs> so, Leah is normally... Ow. Leah is normally a bard on her main. Um, the Anastasia here. There's the giant silver spider. So, Leah, um, Amelia on her main is usually a bar, plays a bard. Um, so, you know, she, she's used to dealing out buffs. I tend to do that too when she's not in the group. I tend to be the buff person. Um, so, Fluffius. Nostalgia's Fluffius. Boom. Hmm. All right. Uh, I'm predicting, yep, Malaya will be first. You over there, you look like you're the weakling. Everyone else just watch and cheer. And next will be Leah. So I'm the one that gets the hard mission. I have to fight three shadow warriors. <laughs> I would have rather fought the Craig Cow. Oh yeah, no, the shell mission will be ending either just before the time is up or after the time is up, so it's not a big deal. So she gets to fight a shadow fighter. I get three shadow warriors. Or maybe three shadow fighters. It might be three shadow fighters. Hey, let me fight Shadow Fighters since this is such a low rank. Let's get some sword. Let's rank up Sword Mastery while we're waiting for Leah. That wasn't enough. Smash can now be upgraded. Good. Let me upgrade that before I get into this fight here. Can I windmill? No, I can't windmill. That's sad. There we go. Oh yeah, I have Shadow Warriors. I get the hard fight. <laughs> Three Shadow Warriors. That's alright. Okay, why did you want to use Smash there? Or why did you... Boom! That's one down. Ha! <laughs> they're, uh, they're using Smash just outside the uh, ring. And because the... Whoopsie. The things don't block damage, they're able to deal some damage through the wall. Combat Mastery cannot be upgraded. <clears throat> Time to smash, or not. I'll, uh, I'll try to drag him over here if they don't kill him. Nah, they killed him, I figured. I wanted to get him away from the wall, but they kept killing him, so... Look at that, rank 7 Combat Mastery, jeez. Everything else is rank D at most, except for maybe Sword Mastery, which is rank C. So, that's because I'm spamming that Sword Mastery. Just sit here and spam Sword Mastery. Okay. It's time for the Shadow Commander. Oh, there's a life drain. I'm about to die. Oh, whew, I made it away. 
I made it away in time. I keep wanting to charge, if I don't have charge yet. Only use the skill on down enemies. Because even though he is down, it's not considered down because he's being pummeled. Hey, there we go. Got a new title for that. And some beginner enchant scrolls, which I'll probably never use. Thunder Crystal, Wind Crystal. Yeah, we're def running this on int. Oh, Asan just left his key. No, not a surprise. There's usually not anything worth anything in here. So, wow, that SM took, I don't know, that's time left. That, uh, that one SM took almost 10 minutes. Not bad. Um, but, you know, I think this is a good spot to end the episode off at since we did do two SMs, plus it's been 20 minutes. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please feel free to subscribe. Feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. And I'll see you all next time. See you later.